what are you at? Today is Wednesday, July the 18th, and it is a very warm and muggy day, as we would say, uh, here in Newfoundland. It's so humid. It's sticky weather. But I'm not complaining because it's warm and there's heat and there's no snow. <laughs> so I'm good. It's all good. I hope everyone is having a fabulous summer so far. Um, so far for me, it's been very busy. Um, sun is gone away. He left on Canada Day on July 1st to go to uh, university in Quebec for a special program that's offered to high school students who are studying French. Um, he's been in French immersion since kindergarten. So he applied for this bursary program and was lucky enough to get accepted and he left on Canada Day and he's at the University in Quebec City. Doesn't come home until August 3rd. So that's five weeks without my 16 year old son. Not that I'm counting. He's having a fabulous time and mom is not having a real fabulous time at home, but that's okay. He's having a ball and he's safe and he's doing well and he's loving every second of it. We bought him tickets to the music festival uh, that goes on for 10 days in July and he and his buddies um, basically every day when they were finished uh, their classes got their got their dinner at the um, cafeteria and then promptly left to go to one of the um, stages that were set up for the concert for the festival and would stay at the festival till uh, their curfew at the university each night at the dorm. Um, he's having a blast. He's seen so many really big bands. Um, oh my gosh. He saw Jethro Tull, Neil Young, Beck, the Foo Fighters. Um, I don't know who else he saw. I think he saw the Chain Smokers. He's not into them, but his girlfriend is. So they went to that that night. Um, yeah, he, he's seen a whole bunch of stuff. Anywho, thanks for stopping by and uh, sharing a few minutes with me. Uh, as it's summer, I'm trying to keep my, I guess my videos pretty casual. I'm not sticking to any schedule. Um, every couple of weeks or so, I'll throw up a video to try and keep them a little bit short. It's hard to find an hour to sit down and watch somebody's video. So I've been watching most people's floss tube videos on, you know, sped up. <laughs> so some of you talk really fast now in my mind. But um, I just don't have the time to sit there and, and watch a full hour video unless I do that. So I'm going to keep this short and sweet. So thanks for coming. Uh, if you're new to my channel, um, I'm Pam's Crafty Corner here on YouTube. I'm at Pam's Crafty Corner on Instagram. I usually post daily updates on my Instagram feed. So if you want to check that out, you certainly feel free to do so. All of my stitching is uploaded there every day, usually. Um, if not every day, every couple of days, there's a picture up of what I've been working on, what I've been stitching, what I've been crafting. Lots of multi-crafting going on, so much so that I did discover this month that multi-crafting, serious multi-crafting, can be hazardous to your health. I ended up with um, tendonitis in my thumb and in this joint specifically. And I can finally make a fist, and it, that doesn't hurt anymore. Um, I had to lay off the stitching for a couple of weeks. I had to put a get a brace that has the actual thumb um, section on the brace. Uh, fingers are all fine, but the thumb, I had to have that restrained to, to kind of limit the movements of it. So that was interesting. Um, I still stitched one-handed instead of two-handed while that was working itself out and I gingerly picked up my knitting a um, couple of days ago and that went okay I just took my time so doing really well that is really coming around and uh, pretty well should be back to normal in another week or so hopefully I'll have that sorted out so let's get to the stitching 
What have I worked on? I worked on a bunch of things this month. Um, let's go to my birthday. My birthday was the 20th of June and I decided I was going to start. I'm going to see if I can find a picture because I don't have the actual chart here with me now. It's down in my craft room somewhere. I decided I was going to start a sampler that is no longer in print. It's, um, it's the Tapestry Sampler by Pat Rogers. So this is a picture of it. Not very clear, I will admit, but that's it. And I hastily found a piece of 18 count Ada that is probably, oh my gosh, I'm going to say 20 years old because, and I'll tell you how I know that. It has masking tape along the edges. And I, I only used to tape my fabric like way, way back when I first started stitching. So I would have been 19 then. So 29, 39, ugh, that's like 26 years ago. God, that's scary. Um, and I had started a little old fashioned Santa up here in the corner. Now he's not gonna affect what I'm stitching. So he's kind of out of the way. And it was just laying downstairs in my stash, so I decided to pick this up. It's an oatmeal um, color Ada. You know the Ada that you could buy, like the Charles Craft Ada in the tubes? I think that's what this is. And I've started the tapestry sampler on it. I don't know how well the colors are going to show up on this, but it is... Like, that picture does it no justice. This is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, that's as wide as the piece will go on this side. Um, there's border that works its way all the way up here. This is as wide. Uh, not quite. It goes a little bit wider, I think, to here on this side. And the border will do the same. It'll work its way across and then come up. So I am loving this piece, really enjoying it. So that's how much stitching I've gotten done on it um, since my birthday. So almost a month. I've only, I've worked on it a couple of weeks here or there. And I'm in love with it. Absolutely in love with it. And look, I have my little needle minder. I have that from Ingeborg. That's, she sent me that last year. I love that. I love those little wooden needle minders because your needle it, it's flat and the needle sticks to them super super well so that's my pat rogers tapestry piece after that one i think um i worked on record girls and my record girls piece i had a page finish so it's still on the cue snap because i'm going the tension is loosened up but I didn't want to take it off the Q-snap because I'm going to go back and finish this page here and it's in a good spot for that. But look, 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 look. So she is pretty well, the upper portion of her body is completely done, her arms, her top. This shirt was wicked confetti heavy, like really, really confetti heavy. Um, her little skirt and she's got the matching tights. That match her skirt, um, which you can't see, but this is the needle minder. That's what the uh, chart looks like, but she's got matching tights. So, yeah, so I have basically, I think I have three and a half pages left to do. I think it's one, two, three, and two half pages. So this half page I've already got a, a, a good start on. Um, so I'll finish this page the next time I pick this up in a week or so. And then I'll just move right down to over here, which is going to be background on this side. And then it moves into this gal's legs and her legs, so on and so forth. Um, I'm really pleased with the progress on that. And I'm in line to get this finished by the end of the year, I think, maybe. 
hopefully, cross my fingers, because I'm getting tired of it now and I want to have it done. Um, every Friday I've been doing, um, when I'm not working, I've been doing Friday off the grid stitching um, with Carolyn's Facebook group. Uh, I think it's called Friday off the grid needle arts or Friday off the grid. Um, maybe this, maybe the group is just called Friday off the grid or is it Friday after grid party? I can't remember. Um, I'll try and link it uh, down below or put the proper name of it down below. But what I've been working on for the Friday party um, every week as I get a chance is my um, Long Dog Sampler Death by Cross Stitch. Beautiful piece. I managed quite a bit of progress since you would have last seen it. Here we go. So I've reached the end. This is the end of the piece. And I've now stitched down and done filled in this part. And I've started the outline, the block for this piece here. So this is it in all of its glory. I'm stitching this on 25 count antique white Lugana and I'm stitching it one over one using DMC 939 which is so dark navy blue it's almost black. So when I show this in some lights it looks black and some light it looks blue. So if you look at my pictures on Instagram, you'll actually see sometimes it looks blue and sometimes it looks black. Uh, it just depends on how the light catches the DMC really. So yeah, that's where I am. So I am on the last page on the top. So this Friday, I'm hoping to get some stitching into this and um, see how much of that block I can get finished up there. But I am in love with this piece and I like that I can just throw it on my 11 by 11 Q snap every Friday and just um, work on it and you know at my own pace and it's great I'm really enjoying that the last piece that I worked on in the last couple of weeks so I don't remember when I did a video last it, it had to have been before my birthday because I don't think I showed that tapestry sampler before. So the last piece I worked on is Plague Doctor by Busby Designs. Um, this is a full coverage piece. Um, the actual Plague Doctor uh, character is full coverage. It's charted that way. Um, and then there's this outline. I'm not doing the outline. I'm only stitching him. And instead of doing him full coverage, I coffee dyed my fabric and I'm only stitching, I only stitched in the darkest gray in the chart, which I think is DMC, I want to say 3799, but I could be wrong. So it's the darkest gray and the black. And I'm leaving the rest of the coffee fabric so you can see it through the piece. So this is what he looks like. Hang on, let me get him a little closer. So you can see the, the two colors of the black and the charcoal gray. I like how it just adds a little bit of extra depth. Some people stitch this with just the black only. Um, and you can see how I've got the gray already filled in on this side of him. And now I just need to fill in the black. So that's where I am. This, this is one page worth of black and then he will be done. So I've kind of thought about a little bit how I want to frame him. And I'm thinking I want to do him in some kind of ornate, funky looking, um, antique looking black frame. Yeah, so that's him. I don't know why, but I, I'm, 
I was very, I just, I saw that piece and it was just like one of those impulse things. I was like, oh, I really like that. And I got the chart and I, I have to say I do enjoy it, oddly enough. And I've been stitching that once a month. I've been stitching that on the 13th of the month for dark 13 stitching. And that's it. That's the only time I've picked it up. So yeah, that's that. Now, what else did I work on? I did not work on Jay's Folk Witch. Um, I don't think I did. I'm pretty sure I didn't. I have that on my stand now. I started working on it again yesterday. So I will show that in my next video. I'm hoping to get two page finishes done um, over the next couple weeks because I've put it on my stand and I'm going to stitch on that now till the end of July or until I finish the two pages, whichever comes first. Um, today's the 18th, so I've got like 10, 13 days, I think, of stitching. Um, now I'm working a bunch of those days, but still, that's that. Uh, other progress on other things. God, this video is going to be really quick. I've only been talking for like 16 minutes. Other progress, I did manage to get a little bit of knitting in. I finished my orange and pink socks. They were ankle socks. Um, these are the My Favorite Vanilla Sock Pattern by the Unapologetic Knitter. Instead of knitting a long leg, I just I just did the, these this pair as ankle socks. And the cuff, um, instead of doing um, single rib, I did double. So two knit, two purl, two knit, two purl, instead of one and one, one and one. Um, yeah, I've had them on, I've worn them around the house, which probably explains the dog hair on the foot of them <laughs> right now. Um, this is the second one. The only issue I had with this pair versus the other pair that I knit, the other pair, I didn't seem to have this issue. Um, I'll show you. See, this sock didn't really do it, but this one did. On both sides of this sock, I don't know if you can see it there. Do you see this little hole? So when you knit the heel flap, you then go back and you pick up the stitches um, in order to join it back up to, to stitch the, I think the gusset it's called of the sock. And when I, I picked up the right amount of stitches, but I ended up with a little space. And it happened on both sides of the sock. There's the one there. And there's one there. So it's no trouble. I mean, I can just go back with a darning needle or a sewing, you know, needle and just kind of stitch them closed. But I don't know how I ended up with them on that sock and they're not on this one. But yet I picked up the right amount of stitches. So either I picked up the last stitch to the leg not close enough or I picked it up in the wrong space. But I did it twice, so I don't know what's up with that. But you know what? I'm beginning. I'm a learning to knit knitter. So I'm okay with that little hole. Whatever. <laughs> uh, I don't really have anything else to show. That's everything I have stitched. Um, I have another little secret project that's on the go at the moment that I can't really show because um, the person it's for watches my videos and that's a little that's a knitting um, actually that's a crocheting project so I'll keep working on that I just can't show it on here and I probably can't show it on my Instagram either um, until it's done and that'll be a little while and that's about it summer here has been really nice it started so so late like if you watched my last video you know we had snow in June Yeah, snow in June. Like the 10th of June, we had snow on the like falling out of the sky. Crazy. Bananas crazy. 
Um, but it's gone right to like really nice weather so far now, like the rest of this summer. So far so good. Or like the last couple of weeks has been really good anyway. And I'm not complaining about the humidity and the heat because I love it. So that's about it. Uh, I have one other piece of news that's really big news. And I guess I'll share it here because it's already been let out onto the internet. I am going to Arizona Stitch Fest. <laughs> um, I managed to snag a space at McKenna's Retreat, Arizona Stitch Fest, which is happening April of 2019. I cannot wait to go. Um, Allie is going. She sent me a message and said, oh my gosh, McKenna's having a retreat. Um, I'm thinking of going. Do you want to go? I had not thought about going and then I said, oh my God, I would love to go if you're going. So between the jigs and the reels, as we say here, I ended up uh, snagging a spot at McKenna's retreat and so did Allie and we were both lucky enough to get in and she's going to fly up from Australia and I'm going to fly to Arizona all the way from <laughs> the east coast of Canada, as far east as you can get. Uh, it's going to be quite a long flight, but I think it's totally going to be worth it. I cannot wait. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. There's a lot of people going. I think she set the limit. I think she set the um, cutoff at 80 people. And I saw on Instagram just before I was doing my video that her retreat is full. So she had no problem filling up those 80 spaces uh, in no time flat. She is going to be doing a wait list. So if anybody wants to um, get in touch with her for that, you can. Um, all the information is on her Instagram and on her YouTube, which is Stitching in Sequence. So you can go check that out if you want to. But yeah, I'm going to Arizona Stitch Fest. So, so excited. I'll get to see uh, some people that I already know. And I'll get to see a lot of people probably that I don't know in person, but feel like I know because I've been watching their floss tube videos all this time. It's going to be a really good time. And I'm very excited and I feel very fortunate to be able to attend. So it's going to be a great time. So that's about it. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, for the last 20 minutes or so. I am now gonna go um, drink some ice water and sit down and stitch on Jay's Folk Witch piece for a little while. I think my next video that I put up might be a bit of a vlog style, just so I can show you what the weather's been like here, what's been going on around um, our community, what I've been up to, and um, probably just show you my stitching every day and get you caught up to what I'm what I'm doing. A little easier than sitting down and it's a little more casual in the summertime so we'll see how that goes. I may or may not do a vlog. We'll see how I feel. Anyway, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Um, feel free to subscribe and come back and see my next video and we'll chat with you soon. Bye!